Today is August 6, 2013. You're watching Speedrun. Earlier this year, Machine Games announced that Wolfenstein The New Order would be delayed until next year, but with good reason. The team continues to work on blending modern shooter tropes with the franchise's history. Wolfenstein returns players to a world where they must destroy Nazis with the game's host of destructive weapons. From the music to the rechargeable health system, Wolfenstein plays a balancing act of old and new. This balancing includes the game's narrative focus, which will lean toward more adventure-based mechanics rather than purely shooting mayhem. The team is aiming to make the best Wolfenstein game ever made, so they say, and we'll find out in 2014 if they have. While Sony's EverQuest Next offers a fully destructible world, EverQuest Next Landmark offers a fully constructible one. Landmark will allow players to use the same creation tools the EverQuest Next developers employ to build anything within the world of Landmark. The EverQuest team will curate the best of the best and put those player-made creations into the full EverQuest Next world. Players will be incentivized for their work as the development team will pay users if their content is brought into the world of Narath. We definitely got some Minecraft vibes from this game, but it looks like Landmark is going to take things to a whole new level. We think of video games as a visual medium, but for those who can't see, how can you play? Brendan Cole, a blind gamer, blogs about his and the experiences of many other blind players, as gamers and developers work to make major titles accessible to the blind. With the rise of audio games and other alternative options, Cole and other blind gamers believe very little needs to be done to make even the biggest releases accessible to them. Read our full feature for Cole's story and find out how games like Quake have been adapted for the visually impaired. And that, my friends, is our Tuesday. Kinda hungry. Anyone else craving wings? See you tomorrow.